Hello. Today's Tuesday, May 6th. And uh, I still can't believe we're already in May because the weather's been absolutely horrible and we're just now starting to get some type of, of spring weather, which is, I mean, it's it's great that we're getting the weather now. Now I'm, I'm switching over to, to, to short sleeves right now. Um, course as it would be as I'm doing <laughs> as I always do I'm heading into one of my jobs and of course it's the one at Lowe's uh, for some reason this is always the I'm always doing my vlog while I'm going to Lowe's and not any of the other jobs well in any case um, so past couple of days I've talked about of course labor unions uh, which I uh, predict will be returning in five years or less. And I've also predicted um, an American Revolution Part Two or an American Civil War Part Two, whichever you want to look at it as, um, within the next, you know, up to five years. I predict that happening. Um, so I predict a lot of things happening within the next five years. I predict a lot more people getting pissed off but um, I also predict that a lot more people will become more, even more stupid because of how uh, things are, the way the education system has been set up. People, uh, the education system is no longer really, I mean, not so much, I don't think it's really challenging students anymore. Um, I mean, as it is, my kids that are currently in public school, they don't have textbooks, which, doesn't allow them to read, reread, and and read over the book. Like how when I was growing up, when I was growing up, yeah, we'd have chapters that were assigned reading, which again was part of the whole reading, you know, reading and writing and arithmetic and all that stuff. So reading a book for another subject, whether it be history or science, you know, we'd still be reading. And now it's like kids are, are forced to take notes and if they can't write legibly or if they have no freaking clue what language to write in, then they're kind of screwed. So they're, you know, they're, I, in many ways I think they're being set up for failure. And um, I, I'm gonna give a, quite, a great shout out to Robert Reich on this because he also, I believe, he believes that our education system is absolutely suck ass because we're no longer top. And um, like Mr. Reich, I would like to see the United States on top again, on top of everything. Number one economy, number one in income equality, number one in education, number one in technology, number one in you fuck with us, we'll kick your ass. Or we'll kill you, which, are, yeah, we'll kill you. We don't just kick people's ass, we kill them. Um, number one in science, number one. I want the United States to be number one. Out of anything that I want for my kids when they grow up, I want them to be able to go, wow, we live in the best friggin' country on the damn planet because we're number one. Not just a matter of a rallying cry for the Olympics. I'm talking about statistically fact. We are number one. Everywhere you look, there's a goddamn statistical list. We're at the top, number one. But there's so many people in this country that don't want to be number one. They want to be number 15. They want to be number 30. They want to be number 47. They want to be number 181. As long as they have money, or as long as they get what they want, they don't give a shit about our nation. I don't like that. And as time goes on, and as a lot of different, you know, um, philosophies start to gain ground, start to gain traction, start to have a momentum, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, like the United States military are going to like, you know, you know, fight against us. And I'm like, you know what? 
You know, we don't have a lot of stupid people in the military. We have a lot of intelligent people in the military. I don't think that just because they get an order to do something evil that they're going to do it. So that's, but that's just me. Because I think that in the military, there's a considerable about a considerable amount of American patriots in military service at this very moment. Um, and the reason why I say that is because you have to be, you have to be a patriot to serve in the military because all a lot of your liberties, a lot of your rights as an American get stripped away when you're in the military. So you have to be a patriot. I mean, either you're a patriot or you're a fucking idiot. I'm going to say there's more patriots than fucking idiots in the military. But then again, I'm sure somebody's going to jump on and make a comment and say, Yeah, I know this guy who's in the military. He's a fucking idiot. We all know one or two of those people. You know, it's like, we knew one when we went overseas. It was a goddamn stupid-ass generator mechanic who had nothing better to do because all the generators were working fine. So he caught himself a black scorpion and decided to play with it in his friggin' canteen cup. Yeah, two and a half hours later, he was on a fucking med flight. Idiot. Non-combat related injury. Generator mechanic versus black, Iraqi black scorpion. Generator mechanic, zero. Scorpion, one. Dumbass. So, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so, that's what I've talked about over the, the past couple of days. And um, I broke it up a little bit because my camera stopped recording. I'm going to check. Yeah, I wanted to check just to make sure because occasionally the camera stops recording. So, with this vlog, I'm going to say see you later. And may the force be with you. And, of course, always, as always, 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 be safe out there.